Hi writing class, I hope you all had a great weekend and were able to enjoy the nice weather that we had. Welcome back to another week of digital learning. Amazing job on your both of parts of your test last week. So I'm really proud of all of your hard work and hopefully I'll have those back to you by either tomorrow or by Wednesday. So well done. So for today's class, we're gonna be looking at lesson 41, part E. So we're going to be writing a story based on a few pictures. Right, so we're gonna be using this to help us. So I'll read what it says in our book. So find part E. The pictures in part E show, the, show how the story begins and how it ends, but the pictures don't show what happened between the beginning and the ending. So your job is going to be to write the middle part. So let's read the first sentence for the beginning of your story. So if you look on your sheet, in the very first box, this is going to be the beginning of your story. So don't forget to indent. So the sentence is going to say, the divers got out to search for a treasure in a, sink in a sunken ship. Right? So there are two people talking in the first picture. So that means in our first part, we're going to have to have two paragraphs. Right? We have Mario, who says, we're right over the sunken ship. And then we have Lisa, who says, people say the treasure is worth a fortune. So the middle part of your story should answer the questions that are in the box. I'll read some of the questions, right? And those questions are written right over here. They can, your, your middle part can answer the questions, did they find the sunken ship treasure? Where was the treasure? How did they get the treasure into their boat? How did Mario's diving suit get torn? What did Lisa say? And what did Mario say? So remember, your story does not have to answer all of these questions. These are just to help you to come up with your story. We also have some words in the vocabulary box to help you write your story. Right, so we have the words anchor, face mask, air tank, dove, pressure, jewels, coins, diving equipment, exclaimed, and sharks. Right? So we don't have to use all of those words, but if you can, try to use some of these words in your story. And then we also have some checks for us to do. So we have four of them. So I'll read what they say. Check one asks us, is each sentence punctuated correctly? Don't forget to start each paragraph by indenting. Don't forget to start each sentence with a capital letter. Don't forget to capitalize each person's name. And don't forget when we're writing exact words, we need quotation marks around them. Check two asks us, are there any unclear words in your paragraphs? So once again, before we can use the words they, she, he, or it, you first have to introduce the person, people, or the thing in the previous sentence. If we don't do that, the word will be unclear. Check three asks us, did you tell all the important things that must have happened? So we want to use the pictures and those questions to help us write our story. And then check four asks us, did you write at least four paragraphs? So remember, in the first half of our story, we're going to have to have at least two paragraphs because we have two different people speaking. In the second half of your story, you're also going to have to have another two paragraphs. So those could be about anything that you would like. So be creative. And then it asks us, your job is going to be to write an interesting story. You can make up what the people said and what they did in the middle of the story, but remember the story has to end the way the last picture is, right? So your story has to end with what's going on in this picture. For the middle part of your story, you can make up what happened, you can make up what people said. So be creative. Right, so let's write some of the story together. I was thinking today we would write for the first two boxes or we would write the first half of our story. And then on your own, I want you guys to use these questions and to use this last picture to write the second half of your story. So let's get started. Right, so the first sentence for the first half of our story is given to us, right? So we're going to wanna to write this sentence out. Once again, we want to remember to indent when we're starting our first paragraph. So our first sentence is going to be, 
the divers got ready got ready to search for a treasure in a sunken ship. Right? So now let's look at that first picture to help us write. We can see that there are three people. We have Ray, Mario, and Lisa. Right? And we can see that they were putting on their diving equipment. So maybe we'll write that as our next sentence. So we're going to want to write Ray, Mario, and Lisa put on their and then diving equipment is one of our vocabulary words so make sure to spell it correctly put on their diving equipment right so that's what we have so far so now if we look at that picture we can see that two people said some exact words so let's start with mario and then let's write what Mario said. So Mario said, we're right over the sunken ship. So that will be our next sentence. I don't have to indent because nobody has said anything before that. So this is the first person that's speaking. So I'm just going to continue this first paragraph. Mario said, right? And then after the word said, I need my comma. And then I'll put quotation marks around the exact words that he said, which are where right over the sunken ship period and then my closing quotation marks right so don't forget guys when we are writing exact words we need to have our quotation marks around the exact words and then we need our comma right before the exact words that they said and then the other person that said something in the story in the first half is Lisa. So since we have a new person speaking, it's not Mario anymore, that means I'm going to have to start a new paragraph, right? So I'm going to start a new paragraph and then we're going to write what Lisa said. Lisa said, and then once again, I'm going to put my comma quotation marks. And then she said, people, say the treasure is worth a fortune period and my quotation marks. right so i had to begin a new paragraph when lisa started to speak because a new person was speaking right Lisa said that we put our commas, quotation marks, and then we put the exact words that she said, and we finished off with our closing quotation mark. So now that we've written our first two paragraphs for the first half of our story, I want you guys to write the middle part of your story and to use the picture to help you write your ending. For the middle part of your story, don't forget you can be creative. You can use those questions to help you write your story, but you can make up what people did and what people said. But for the ending of your story, you have to write about what's in that last picture. So keep up the awesome work, guys, and I'll see you in our next class. Bye.